In this code sample, we try to delete a record. We have a separated method, its name is delete record, that should delete a very specific record. Well, the steps we need to follow in order to delete a record is um, include creating an entity key object, an object that um, represents the, the, the key, the primary key of that record we want to delete. Instantiating the entity key class, we should pass over three arguments. The first argument is an expression that returns, if we take that expression in runtime, uh, returns a set of objects. Here we should specify the key, the property, let's be more specific, the property um, that exists in each one of the objects, the, this set old, and here we sp should specify a value. Um, doing so, we shall get an entity key object that represents a very specific entity that this set holds and that very specific entity has a property its name is id with the value 12 if we go over the code the next step uh, involves with calling the get object by key method calling that object on our context passing over an entity key object that represents a specific entity, specific object, we shall get in return the object, the object we want to delete its record from the database. The next step involves with um, calling the delete object method and the save changes method, the delete object method will delete the specific record uh, course holds the reference for its object and then when the delete record method ends we shall get another list of all records and we expect that the record we have just deleted want to be printed out to the screen. So let's execute this code and see the output. Okay, so as you can see, um, the first list uh, includes the entity, its ID is 12. Here it is. And the second list does not.